Hey guys, what's up? I'm just gonna get straight to it because this is just gonna be a legit shoot. Um, so we have, we're, we're, we're in the lockdown still and we see a group of people finally, even though it's been going up for a while, especially the last couple of months, where we have thousands of people now protesting this shit because that's what it is. And, the, and we're getting blamed for spreading COVID. The protesters are getting blamed for spreading COVID. It's ridiculous. Trudeau has all the immigrants coming in to this country. There was over 5 million travelers in 2020 coming to Canada. Over 5 million. And that was after COVID started. Over 5 million people traveled to Canada, yet we can't open our, our businesses. We have no legitimate plan from our leadership. Doug Ford wants to lock everything down. Nobody wants to say the actual truth. It's going to be variant upon variant upon variant for the next month. Now everything's closed. Now you can't say anything. And if you protest, now you're, you're the problem. Now you're the problem. You're the one that's causing COVID to spread. And people are waking up to this because they realize that these politicians are full of shit. And that's exactly what it is. That's why this end the lockdown movement is bigger and it's going to keep getting bigger. People are waking up now. You got to you got to start doing something. You got to start you got to you got to share this. You got to you got to say what you think. If you want change, you have to say what you think. You can't be hiding behind the screen. You have to get out there. I know it's a tough world. I know it's hard with criticism, but you have to get out there. If you get out there, it makes it easier for the next guy to get out there. Remember what this and the lockdown started a year ago? It started with five people. Five people in Queens Park. Five. They had to take the criticism. They had to, they had to endure it. They were looked at as assholes, everything. What's wrong with you? If it wasn't for those five, when would it have become ten? If it wasn't for those ten, when would it have become a hundred? And now it's thousands of people across the country are sick of this. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. You keep going with this. You gotta, you, if you guys stand up, if you guys get out there, it shows. You can call, call us however many names you want. Call us whatever. You cannot take my right from protesting this. These scientists all come in. Well, you got to stay inside and, oh, and paid sick days. That's everyone, everyone gets the paid sick days. They're, they're all economists now. You know, the country just passed a trillion dollars in debt. It's ridiculous. They all think they can run the show. They can't. And it's showing. Never in history has liberal, conservative, and NDP been more unpopular. Now's the time to take advantage of it. People do not like these politicians anymore because we know. Look at them. They're just Whenever they talk on, on CBC... Well, this is what we must do. We must listen to our scientists looking off a script. They don't speak from the heart because they know they're frauds. Anyways, keep the movement going. This is strong. Keep it up. Keep fighting. And don't be afraid of criticism. Criticism's good because it means people are watching you. Sayonara.